The NDIS is changing the world of our work as professionals. And as our world shifts from employees of government departments to increasingly privatised, a new world of possibilities is opening up that we're still mapping. We need to have new skills as clinicians and as business owners. Skills that are good for our business growth. Even if having the need to learn those skills can feel really uncomfortable as the change is pushed upon us, uh, despite us maybe not being ready or maybe not be, being willing to make those changes. I think overall, as an overarching principle, I think on the whole, the NDIS is good for our clients and many, many of my clients tell me so. The NDIS is certainly good for business and I've seen so many of my fellow health professionals businesses grow and grow and double and triple in the last couple of years thanks to the NDIS it's certainly given us the opportunities to to grow our businesses and serve more clients and the NDIS is also good for us having a flexible business and having that control of the business gives us the flexibility to choose how we work and how we want to live our lives. For me, and I don't admit this very often, so you're amongst a privileged group, that's about managing the chronic pain that I experience. If I didn't have the opportunity to manage it in the way that works best for me, I'd likely be an NDIS participant myself. And I'm not, I'm not really joking <laughs> there. Because I'm able to take the time and... and easily manage my life so I can fit in the health professional appointments I need to care for my body and the time out I need to care for my body when I need it. It lets me give the flexibility to be able to still serve my clients, still have a fabulous business, still earn a great income that supports my family. And, and I'm sure you guys are all finding the same yourselves that you can manage the things in your life that are important to you, whether that's um, spending time with your kids, spending time with your partners, uh, spending time taking care of yourself as well, or focusing on other pursuits. Um, life isn't just all about business. Um, and I'd like you to just have a think about what having a thriving private practice, one that's truly thriving, would enable you to do in your life. What would that mean to you?